Welcome to the Money Over 50 podcast, brought to you by Dallas Davison and Michael Hogue from Money Over 50 Financial Advisors. This information is general in nature and does not take into account your objectives, financial situation, or needs. Therefore, you should consider whether the information is appropriate for you and your personal circumstances. If you require personal advice, please contact Money Over 50 Financial Advisors. Here are your hosts, Dallas Davison and Michael Hogue. Welcome to Money Over 50 with Dallas and Michael. Dallas, uh, here today, you're here to talk about why should it be easy? Um, I don't know if I got the inflection point right right there. I don't actually know. I, I, so this why is- should it be easy? <laughs> That's probably better. Why should it be easy? So the question mark. The concept, it's, a, it's a question mark, isn't it? The, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the concept of... Yeah, it's probably it's, probably, it's a question mark. It's probably the opposite of what you're thinking. So yeah. we talk a lot in this podcast about making things as simple as possible mm. and that simplicity is really often what you're going for. Any Anything extra, any any complexity generally doesn't really add much to the bottom line and, mm. and sort of is just um, something that people get caught up in and, and trying to make things as simple as possible. And we bang the drum on that constantly about trying to be just keep it simple, keep it simple, stick to the plan, keep it simple. I think what happens though is that people get simple and easy conflated and it's mm. not the case. And I it just got me thinking about this. We, we just, um, in, a, in a previous podcast, you talked about, you know, people who have become a client and they've, um, three or four years ago and their balance has grown substantially and, and some of that has been from rising company prices and some of it has been from them doing the hard work and, and often mm. doing more of the hard work than, than what they needed. The, the same, the, those people, the people that do that often sort of, they sort of take for granted their hard work and go, mm. yeah, well, everyone should do that so it, it shouldn't be this easy. The, the point I'm trying to make here is that it's often not e- like actually doing the things that you need to do to get set up for retirement. Some of them are some of them are simple and easy. Some of them are simple and hard. And mm. and you know, fitting into that would be for those clients we, that we're talking about, where they've probably been saving fifteen hundred dollars a fortnight to put into their super. Mm. And so they're going, oh, this is all too easy. Well, not really, because there's a lot of people out there that aren't willing to pay the price and that haven't been willing to put that thousand bucks a fortnight or whatever that figure is. People that aren't willing to to do that and to and to make the sacrifices and do what they need to do in order to get where they need to be, for those people, they, they want it to be easier than what it than what it can be. Yeah, and so I think that's the whole the, the thesis that I've and I've seen this <coughs> lately across different areas of my life, which I find really interesting, is that there's there's no prizes for making things harder than they need to be. There's no prizes for making things more complex than they need to be. Mm. But there are also just situations where you get, if you're trying to achieve something meaningful and you're trying to achieve something that is important to you, you have to do the work required. And mm. we sort of, we, we want really, we want hard and meaningful and important things sometimes, but then we want it to be easy. And, and I think, why would it be easy? Why would it, why would it be if you, so, so the example that I, I, I use here is, um, I, I always laugh because I think I've probably told this story in the podcast before about things that are just basic but actually hard. So a good friend of mine, Mullet, who listens to the podcast sometimes, Gay Mullet, he uh, he lost about 15 kilos a few years ago. Mm. It, was, and it was just before my wedding, actually. And um, Nicola's sister said hadn't seen him for for a few months. I said, geez, he looks great. He's lost so much weight. Yeah, you know, good on him. Mm. And she said, so, like, how's, so how's he done that? I said, oh, I think he's actually just eating healthy food, eating way less of it, and exercised. Yeah. She went, oh, no, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I wanted to hear that there was some there was some new beauty strategy that he's come across where I don't have to. And we laughed about it because she was joking, but, but sort of not really. It was just going, oh, I wish he'd come across the magic <laughs> diet bill or something like that. But, <laughs> but it made me think, you go, like that's a good example of one where that was meaningful and important to him, and it was just hard. Like it, it was simple. It wasn't like like yeah. a lot of things with our health or with our money or with any of these complex systems it's not that we don't know what to do or that, or that it has to be particularly complex it's just don't eat that donut you no. know eat eat a salad and then go for a walk up the hill it, it's not yep. it's not hard it, it's not it's not complex but it is hard and and i think yep. that's the point of 
I've seen that across a lot of different things in my life. And now I sound like a real old timer, but I think our, our, my generation, which I'll include myself in, there's a conflation here where it's like we, we want things and we want things to, to happen for us. But there's often a, 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 an unwillingness to actually take the action required. Look, I, I, like, I like the point. The, the, the analogy that I like to think of is, say, even if, let, let's say your superannuation balance is ahead of where it should be yeah. 10 years out from retirement. Ahead of the average, not yeah. ahead of where it should be. Yeah. Ahead of the average. Yeah. Um, that's like putting together a talented sporting team. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, so let's say the money that you're going to put in, and it's hypothetical money at this stage. Yeah. In the last ten years of your working life, the fifteen hundred a fortnight, for example, that you're going to put into your superannuation fund every single fortnight yep. for two hundred and sixty fortnights. That's the training that that sport, sporting team does. Yes. Yep. That's the um, physical conditioning, the skill training, all of yep. those types of things. Yep. No one would ever suggest that you could put the most talented sporting team together and they would achieve success if they didn't train for the yep. whole year. Yeah. If they didn't do any preseason conditioning, if they just turned up out of shape yep. to play, no one, no one would, no one would, no one would ever, I mean, I think it would be absurd for even the most, um, uh, I guess, fanatic, fanatical supporter yep, to, think that to suggest true. that they're going to be successful yes. this season. Yep. And that's, a, this, that's the way that I think of it in terms of people that aren't willing to give up money yep. on a fortnightly basis or a monthly basis, depending on how they're paid, to, yep. to, to, to put in for the last 10 or 15 years of their working life. And, like, and, you're just not going to get success. And, and I guess to, to cut in there, even for people who don't need to, mm. it's only because they've done the work previously. It, look, you know what I mean? The people that don't someone... need to are usually in positions where they're getting paid so much money yeah. from the work that they've done in the past yes. that their employer contributions yeah. going in are in excess of the $27,500 so, concession yeah, so it's not contribution. that they didn't do so, the work. They just did it, it's, they did it's, it at a different time. It's, it's, yeah. They did the training. They just did it, did it differently. So it's, yeah. yeah. The other thing, I think that that's a great analogy. And, and to continue that, it's the same as, as the having to sit through those 30 40 percent drops in your super balance that, yeah. that's that's the hard that's the hard work so you know when you go hey you're 10 years out from retirement good news we, we can get your superannuation invested into asset classes that on average will return eight percent over the long term mm. oh fantastic mm. that's that's great that's easy it is easy however every five years or so that's going to drop by 30 percent yeah and then and then recover and pick back up to to new highs but you're going to have to sit there and watch your super bumps drop by 30% every mm. five years. Yep. And that's, I think, to some degree, that's almost comforting for people because then they go, oh, I get it now. I, I get I get why. For people who are used to doing the hard yards, that's the analogy. It's like, that's the hard work. The hard work is not... Uh, the hard work of getting that money, it's not getting that money invested. The hard work is sitting through that and watching that balance drop at times and watching it be very volatile and watching it go up and go down. That's the training that you've got to do. So... That, that's I think the the a good analogy though is that that's the that's the training e- even that team that ultra talented team of, of football players that if they want to achieve something and I guess that's the point is if they wanted to play in the if you if you had people who'd been playing NRL for five years and then they all wanted to drop back and play in the in the local Townsville Rugby League comp they probably don't need to do any training yes because they're not trying to achieve anything meaningful no, no, or no. important or, or you know to to them relative to what they could be doing so. But I, I see it everywhere. This this concept of, and I only that phrase. Why why would it, why should it be easy? Is it, it's so. I use another example. Um, my wife has just bought a, a local law firm here, and mm. so that settled a f- yeah a month ago now almost, and, and it's been pretty chaotic, like any new business mm. getting set up and and you know keeping everyone happy and involved. You know, getting it all set up has been a pretty hectic. Um, mm. time then when you think about it it was funny because it was only when I was talking about it with a mate and they were kind of going so yeah, she had her own firm and she was growing that slowly and now she's had the opportunity to buy this firm and sort of she's, she sort of jumped ahead probably five to ten years in, in her career or in her, in her firm that she was, was building up mm. so you go if, if, you're, if you're getting to leapfrog five years of, of where, you, where you want to be in your business why would that be easy why would you assume mm. that there'd be no work or no pain or no headaches involved in that. If it was that easy, 
wouldn't everyone just do it? Wouldn't everyone just yeah. jump in there and, and buy a business and do that? Mm. So I think that's the, that's the, that phrase now. I'm seeing it everywhere of, you know, we, we think, I, I think those are the two things that we're getting conflated. It's, it's simple and easy. And it's the yeah, same look, concept of, you know, I will just go out and buy a business. Hey, it's simple. Hey, just go out and you buy yeah, a business. Yeah, great. It, it, it is simple to some degree, but yeah. it's not easy because if it was easy, if it was that easy, everyone would just do it and it, and it wouldn't work like that. Yeah, look, I, I like that because it, it, it is easy to get those two uh, interchangeable yeah. when they're not interchangeable. No, that's right. So simple, yes, um, our strategies, well, they're, they're simple to us yeah. um, and they're, uh, look, they're devoid of any superfluous aspects. Yeah. Um, uh, simplicity for, for for effectiveness sake. Yeah. But it's not easy. No. It's not easy. So, so yeah. like, we will, we will demand... Yeah. We will demand... Fifteen hundred on average yeah. per fortnight from yeah. from uh, the average couple. Yeah. In the last two hundred and sixty fortnights, mm-hmm. uh, they get paid to go into their superannuation fund. So the plan actually has to have that. Now that is not, um, that's not for everyone. No. Because it's a perfectly valid choice to say, I could be dead and I'm going to go and spend that fifteen hundred every fortnight. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something else with it. That's yep. an acceptable choice. Yeah. Uh, we certainly don't. We don't. We don't. Um, we demand that everyone <laughs> that becomes a client of ours puts money in it. I mean, that's that's an example. Yeah. Um, the the but we don't demand anyone becomes a client. Yes. That's because if you don't want to do that, yeah, and that's, that's like we're not yeah. the yeah. You know, I mean, we're not the the right. The we're not the right advisor for you. Yeah. Um, it's it it is interesting. It's. Uh, Again, I just keep thinking now of examples of where I've 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 been confused. It's it's a thing that I get confused by because I go, mm. well, why would why? And I think I've touched on this before when I was when I had to uh, when I was having a couple of uh, mixed martial arts fights and and I was talking to guys in the gym who had said I I want to have a fight and I want to and you you know you have to lose a fair bit of weight. It's a weight based competition and you've got to train a lot mm. obviously to to get semi decent so that you don't get killed. Is mm. there'd be a lot of people, and I was doing the hard work, and 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 people would kind of go, "I think I want to." Okay, okay, so what? And they'd go, "What do I need to do to get ready?" I said, "Okay, it's pretty simple. All you do is you train for twenty hours a week. <laughs> you train for two hours in the middle of the day and two hours every night. Uh, and what you eat is a handful of spinach with a tin of tuna on top of it. You eat that <laughs> twice a day, and you train for four hours a day. Simple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and that's a really good example of one where it it is very simple. It, yeah. and, and then people would go. No, no. I meant, I meant. How can I do it the easy way? The easy way. Yeah. <laughs> there is, no, there is none. If there was, if there was an easy way, why do you think that I'd be doing it the hard way? Look, I think, I think, uh, I think when you when you opt for the easy way before you have a mixed art, martial arts for uh, bout, yeah, that's be gonna. It's gonna become the hard way very quickly. Well, that's the, the, the phrase <laughs> is hard training, easy fights. <laughs> easy training, hard fights. <laughs> that's, so, I think that's, so. But it, like most of the people that we're talking to, you know. If you're listening to this podcast at all, you're probably the sort of person that's willing to that's willing to actually do the hard work. Mm. And I think that's that's probably where it's it's a confusing message sometimes because th- this is actually uh, on a separate rant. The thing that I when I read the Barefoot Investor, this famous book that everyone everyone feels about, hey, it's great. So I read it, and the thing that really annoyed me about it was that there was sort of an implication that, and what I really liked was that he tried to make it as simple as possible. Mm. But in doing so, he, he then took it a step further and tried to make it as easy as possible. Yeah. And that was where that was where I I disagreed. Was it was basically a, hey, you got to streamline that. You got to make this easy. You got to have a, a system with your cash flow so that you are saving some for the future. Yep, great. You simplify things. Simple, simple. You know, mm. use index funds. Do this. You know, just have one fund. Think of it as great. And then it was the continuation of, oh, and and you probably only need two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to to live a, a good retirement. I'm going, mm. Hang on, you, you've taken one step too far there. You've gone mm. simple, simple, simple. It's easy. Well, it isn't easy. If mm. if if you're trying to accumulate enough money to live on for thirty years, mm. why would you think that would be would be easy? Like, I guess if you think of it as you know, we we talked before about um, we have talked in the past about those people who served in the in the army for twenty years. Historically, mm. there was a thing where. You serve in the army for twenty years, and you've got a like a lifetime pension. Yep. So people would go, 
oh, well, that's that's pretty easy. You just you just yeah. do twenty years in the army. <laughs> you go and tell that soldier who's you know carrying a fifty kilo pack and you know serving overseas and getting shot at, and you get yeah. oh, it's easy. It's yeah. not easy. It's not it's easy. Simple. Yeah. It's simple. You just go and you be a soldier for twenty years and you'll get paid a lifetime pension. That's yeah. a very simple strategy. Yeah. Now it's like a lot of people weren't willing to pay that price, and that's yeah. why that's why that's why only they got that that yeah. outcome. So yeah. I think that's the the way that I'd think of it is. Whenever you hear us in this podcast, and we're probably guilty of this, whenever we're talking about in this podcast things that are simple, we'll, we might say, you know, it's pretty easy, you just do this. Yeah. Get, it actually might not be easy. It's it, not, yeah, it might be simple. It might be simple, but it but might not, not easy. be easy. So I think we'll probably try and be more aware of that in the future of saying whether, yeah. whether something is actually simple or whether it's easy. But as you're listening to this and as you're listening to other people talk about their, their finances and what they do, be very wary of getting those two things conflated. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening to the Money Over 50 podcast with Money Over 50 financial advisors. For more information and resources, visit the Money Over 50 website, mo50.com.au. We look forward to catching up again soon.